scientist, professor, author, oceanographer, ecologist, hero, alarmist, rock star. Dr. Jeremy Jackson goes by many monikers, but the one he prefers is public scientist. Someone engaged in solving the great problems of our time from the perspective of science. Unlike scientists who approach their work from a specialized discipline, Dr. Jackson has made a career by breaking barriers, defying conventional wisdom, and examining scientific facts from the broadest possible viewpoint. When I think of his legacy, I think of his ability to blend together perspectives from 10 million years ago to mm -hmm. perspectives from today mm -hmm. and, and that, the, the importance of time. Yeah, from bryozoans to shifting baselines to fisheries policy to conservation in protected areas. There are so few people who are able to really master time and space and it, within the scientific fields that impressively. Yeah, there aren't really any limits when it comes <laughs> to what he wants to work on. As a result, Dr. Jackson has advanced our understanding of the ocean and human impacts in ways no one else could. He has sounded alarms where others have been complacent, and he's pushing for actions beyond where others draw the line. Determined from early age, he worked his way through George Washington University at night, and then earned his doctorate at Yale University in geology. Seeking more answers, he went on to examine the ocean through the eyes of ecology, paleontology, earth system science, and human history. As Dr. Jackson described it, he was exploring within the cracks of these disciplines. In the early 1980s, Dr. Jackson had an epiphany of sorts while studying coral reef ecosystems in the Caribbean. He came to realize that the condition of coral reef ecosystems relates to long-term human impacts much more than to immediate events. He unveiled his thesis at a conference in 1996, and overnight, he changed the conventional wisdom on ocean health and the meaning of pristine reefs. Together with Daniel Pauly, his work on the concept of shifting baselines challenged scientists to use historical data to obtain an accurate picture of today's ocean health compared to the past. And that picture was a sobering one. It conveyed an ocean vastly diminished in the abundance of life it once offered, an ocean relentlessly drained of its resources and polluted by human activities. Preaching of an ocean apocalypse and the rise of slime, Dr. Doom became another one of his many monikers. Jeremy does doom and gloom better than anyone, but he also recognized the limits of this approach because you can't just scare people into caring. His recent analysis of the Caribbean has put a spotlight on places where reefs are still in good shape, which inspires governments and individuals to act. Dr. Jackson became a crusader, imparting his knowledge to other scientists, policymakers, journalists, and the public at large. With hundreds of scientific publications, speaking engagements, lectures, books, TV appearances, and op-eds, Dr. Jackson forcefully and eloquently helped open the world's eyes to a new understanding about the health of the ocean. And he has inspired a new generation to think creatively and always take risks in reaching difficult conclusions and making difficult choices on behalf of a better planet for the future. Jeremy is a truly impressive scientist, but what I find most inspiring about him is how dedicated he's been to training the next generation of effective conservationists, and also how driven he is by his internal moral compass that's led him to be this incredible iconoclast, and I really hope for the ocean's sake that that's contagious. So I had the chance to go sea kayaking with Jeremy in Maine recently, and I thought it was just gonna be for fun, but five minutes in, he's brainstorming all these projects with me about shifting baselines in the Caribbean. He just doesn't turn it off. Well, it's the same thing diving. I don't know how much time you've spent diving with him, but you go on a dive, and you can't t talk too much underwater, <laughs> but, uh, but you come up on the boat, and it's just ideas and projects, and the next 10 years planned out. I've never been diving with Jeremy. You've never been diving with Jeremy? Jeremy Jackson, I hereby challenge you to take me diving in a National Marine Sanctuary. A warm one, please. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> please join the National Marine Sanctuary Foundation and me in congratulating Dr. Jeremy Jackson, my husband, with this Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs>